Dan here, and today I am here to give you my take on Figure, a unisex fragrance brought to us by Healy. Now, uh, let's start off by doing the rundown of the notes. In this, we have got fig, fig leaves, white cedar, and lime. That's it. Now, as far as for what I get out of this, uh, it was something that I have not experienced yet, and I was rather taken by it at first and I still am to a point uh, when I first got a whiff of this I was kind of blown away uh, I have never really had my nose on a fig fragrance and one like this no way uh, so right off the top and pretty much throughout the whole duration which is nothing we'll get to that but uh, the whole time on my skin this is a very uh, bold and lush sweet fig scent with uh, a hint of greenness backing it up there and uh, I was just amazed when I first got a whiff because it's different you know it's cool it's uh, good for summer uh, very light and yet uh, full of body you know at the same time uh, but this one did get rather quickly cloying to me the sweetness uh, from the fig in this gets uh, rather cloying to me and the note is almost kind of reminiscent kind of of like a coconutty kind of vibe very hard to describe what a fig smells like but uh, once you get your nose around it you'll know what a fig smells like from now on and actually I kind of find it rather intriguing I rather like it but this one I think is just a little too bold for me uh, and it gets cloying mostly I haven't really come across a lot of fragrances that have become cloying to me but this one does for sure now as far as uh, longevity goes man complete fail at least on me uh, less than two hours and it's gone nothing <laughs> poof vanished <laughs> you know not good at all this one dies and it dies rather fast on me as far as projection you know the first 15 minutes she does damn good uh, but then after that whew, she fades and she fades fast um, but you know that's why this one to me gets cloying rather quickly so I know that if I if this were to last on me for hours uh, I'd probably end up getting a little queasy, a little nauseous, and I'd have to wash it off. But it is, it was rather, rather fun to come across this and sniff it, you know. I do enjoy it, but maybe there's a fig scent out there that could be toned down just a little bit. I mean, this one was just way, way too sweet. Now, as far as the women at work go, I wish you guys could, I wish I could bring a camera into work so I could film some of these reactions because this one was flipping funny as hell uh, it started off I go back in the office and there's four women back there and, and of course uh, they're taking a whiff of me and man they, they were just disgusted they did not like it whatsoever they're just no way Dan no way they're like get that out of here <laughs> no way uh, one lady back there so that it smelled like a rotten coconut um, a couple of other ladies throughout the day um, said that it smelled really feminine and they kind of liked it something that they would wear but not anything that they think that they would like on a man but on themselves they thought it was all right um, Mostly the reactions that I got were bad, and uh, people did not like it, which I was surprised because that first whiff of this, I loved it. I was amazed by it, you know, something different. Uh, but uh, turns out the ladies, at least in my world, it was a no-go. So uh, do I believe that this one is a checkout? You know, for sure, for sure, because if you haven't had a, a whiff of a fig scent, at least get a sample of this devil because I find it rather nice but I just couldn't wear it all day and in fact you know uh, I got two comments from two women that said that uh, you know it smelled good but they could not be next to a person that was wearing this the whole day 
because they said that, that it would become sickening, which uh, I can totally see that. Uh, but, uh, you know, this one, different. If you can handle the sweetness, that's great. If it works on your skin, that's great. For me, complete, complete fail. <laughs> so, am I going to pick up a bottle of this? No. At first whiff of it, I was like, yeah, damn right, <laughs> you know, I need to get me some of this. But uh, it's funny what you find out after you wear a fragrance and really see what it does. And it uh, just does not hold up on my skin. Gets cloying. Women don't really like it. So am I going to buy it? Nah, probably not. <laughs> All right, guys, it's Dan here. It is now time to find out uh, what my ladies think about this one. And I just had to bring Mickers in because we always have the other dogs. And for God's sakes, my channel's named after this guy. So you gotta be in the vids, right buddy? Oh, no kisses. <laughs> but uh, anyways, let's find out what my ladies think about this one. Yeah, no thanks. <laughs> no, um, it's got, I don't know what, what it is, it's more of a, to me it smells like really, um, like a, a, a fig. <laughs> Well, it's, um, you, you can smell, it's like a woody kind of smell. Woody? I don't get woody. I don't know, it's, it smells like something like, it's not a pine tree, but of course you can smell that, but it's got like the sappiness of a, of a pine tree smell, so it's oh, like yeah, I earth, can see that earthy smell, so like something that came right off a of bark, you know? I kind of um, see that. But. Me and her have been sitting around all day trying to figure out what the hell this smells like. Yeah. It's hard to describe a fig, man. I mean, I, I kind of like it, but it just gets too sickening after. Yeah, quick. like the first one, yeah, it's pretty different. It's, you know, it's unique, but other than that, yeah, you sit there and you got that smell just lingering. You know, yeah. Lingering. Yeah. You get sick after that. Yeah. It, so. It's fun to check out for a couple of whiffs, but that's about it. So this one, making it to my shelf, mm -hmm. no. Especially not at the price for this guy, you know. I mean, it's not too spendy. It's a little above the mid-range. I think you can find it for like 70 to 90 bucks or something. But still, you know, not worth it for me, especially with all the issues I have with it. But definitely enjoyed checking it out. It was quite fun, you know. Uh, glad to have gotten my nose around a fig scent like this one. But uh, is it going to enter my shelf? Heck no! <laughs> you said it's a unisex, so it won't go on mine either. No! No, no way! <laughs> But anyways, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, take care, and we'll see you soon. Yep. Bye-bye.